Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I have a new faith planner process for you, but first I want to show you these new printables from Kelly Bangs. This is part of her Project Grateful line. So Project Grateful started back in November of 2021, and each month Kelly has released a new printable set all about gratitude and documenting your gratitude. And I love using these pieces to document gratitude every month, but you can also use them for a whole variety of other things. And so I just want to show you this set. I will link it below. It is available over at the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop. So I will link that. Um, if you're interested in checking out the set and then seeing my process video for my faith planner, then stay tuned. Okay, so here is the new Project Grateful set for July. Um, there's four different parts. So first you have the numbers. I have printed mine and cut mine with my Cricut so that I can easily peel up the sticker and place it down. I have white sticker paper. I will link all of that stuff that I use because I know I always get a lot of questions on sticker paper and it can get expensive. So I actually use a cheaper white sticker paper works for me. It might not be the brightest white ever, but I find it to be very affordable. So that is why I like it. So you have the numbers set where she gives you enough numbers to document three things that you are grateful for every day of the month. Plus you get these cutie girls who I love. So you have that set. Then you have the ephemera set and you can see we're going with like a Southwest theme here. I love it. So here's a ton of ephemera. You have some arrows and banners that I think are super, super cute. Some really cute signs. Bless your heart. Let me tell you about my Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. I love, love, love these. And a few more signs right here. So these four pages are part of the ephemera set. Then you have journaling bits. And these are just great places. Um, I love these stickers for my planner, actually, for my regular planner, because they're just a great size to take little notes, but you have this page, all kinds of great little, I love the patterns on that. How cute is that? Great journaling pieces. Love the tag as well. So you have those, that would be the journal bits. And then of course you have papers and I love, love, love Kelly's papers. So here are the six papers that she created for this month. Love these triangles. I think they are amazing. This one is super cute as well. Love all of these. I love the bright colors. Kelly Bangs like, gets me and my color, my love of color. She is the same way. And then this, I feel like is kind of going, having a little bit of fall, a little bit of a fall moment right there. So a ton of pieces um, if you buy all four parts of the set, which I highly recommend just because these are such versatile um, images and digital patterns and things like that. I use them in my Bible. I use them in my planner. I use them all over the place. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the links below. I'm going to use these pieces to create a page for my faith planner. Um, I do power verse pages. This isn't going to be exactly a power verse page. This is going to be kind of like a reference page and I'll explain more about it as I get going. But if you're interested in seeing that process, let's go. All right, so the thought behind this page was an emotion reference guide. So I very much find myself being um, an emotional person at times and getting very caught up in emotion. And I do feel like it's really important to allow yourself to feel things, to acknowledge your natural reaction, whether it be to the news or to something else that's going on in your life, because I think that that is a human thing. And I think it's Fine, and I think it's important to acknowledge those things. Um, but I can find myself getting wrapped up in an emotion and holding on to that emotion rather than trying to work through it. And so in this reference guide that I'm creating for my planner, I am going to be referencing some different emotions or different feelings that um, I have felt at different times and a verse reference that I can focus on in those times to kind of shift my pers perspective or shift my focus. I really like that in our planners or in our faith planners, we can create 
pages like this that are very personal and very customizable. Um, that's one of the things I love about the Happy Planner system is it's so easy to insert things like this. And then of course, these beautiful printables from Kelly Bangs make it really easy to kind of get in touch with the creative side of you while you are doing something else that um, also really speaks to you in a different way. So I'm super excited about this page. I think it turns out really cute and I like the purpose of it. I feel like I should probably put it in the front of my faith planner, but I also feel like it could go really well in my catch-all planner. So basically I just used some filler paper from the happy planner that I thought had some of the same color schemes, but it was not in, um, or it was from the squad goals, like the planner's got a plan. And so I covered that up. I'm going to add my own title, just a few decorations. And then I love, love, love these arrows. I will be using those, um, multiple times throughout this. Um, and I'm going to basically use some of the shapes here to create places where I can write a scripture reference and then create places where I can write the emotions and the emotions are going to be focused down the middle of the page and then they will be pointing towards a place where I can write some scripture references. I did print all of these pictures directly onto white sticker paper. That is not necessary. You can print them on regular white paper. I would use a bright white paper if I were you just to get the best color quality and you can cut these out and use them in that way. I prefer sticker paper because I find it super easy to work with. You can tell I don't have to pull out adhesive or anything like that, um, but you certainly could. I do buy my sticker paper in more of a bulk fashion because I use it a lot in my planner and in my journaling, and that saves me a little bit of money, but it is overall a little bit more expensive to print on sticker paper. So that's just something to keep in mind. You don't have to be able to print onto sticker paper to make this whole page work to work with these images. And maybe this page just inspires you and you want to recreate it not using these types of stickers at all. You could use just your markers. You could use stickers you already have on hand. There's all kinds of ways to do it. I just want to inspire you with some ways that you can use your creativity. You can connect it to your faith and um, it can really be a tool for you as you study and as you um, work through different points in your life. You can see that I am never one to shy away from using all the things on a page. I like busy pages. I like using tons of images. I don't like white space, so I just go for it. So I have all of my references here. I'm going to talk about six different emotions. I'm going to add one arrow at the end that's pointing to the amen sign, which I think is super cute. And then I'm going to fill in a few of the kind of weird shaped spaces with some of the cacti and the succulents that Kelly has added in the set. It's just such a fun set. I've been loving using these Project Grateful sets for my daily pages. I do a daily planner um, and use these. I have a printout that I created for my Patreon, Patreon members like your not years ago, months ago. Um, that's a daily page. And then I use these stickers a lot to decorate that daily page and kind of get my mind wrapped around the page. So just adding a few little pieces here and there, and then I'm going to start filling it in. So there are six emotions that I decided to focus on. Um, and so at the top, I'm going to write out when I feel, and then the emotions I'm talking about are afraid, guilty, impatient, doubtful, insecure, and hurt. And then I'm going to list a scripture reference. So for afraid, I'm referring to John 14, 27, where it says, peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give you. I don't give as the world gives. Don't let your hearts be troubled and don't be afraid for feeling guilty. When you feel guilty, I um, wrote out first John one, nine, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Impatient, I looked at Luke 1, 45. For doubtful, I looked at James 1, 5 through 8. For insecure, I looked at Romans 5, 8. And for exodus, or sorry, for hurting, I looked at Exodus 14, 14. There is plenty of space where I can add additional scripture references. So if you have any scripture references that you feel like match with some of these emotions, then by all means, please leave them in the comments below. And I would be very grateful to add them to my page.
that is going to be it for this faith planner page. If you like this page, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Um, I want to give a shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you guys so much. You are the reason that I am able to keep this YouTube channel going and I really, really appreciate it. I hope that all of you get a chance to check out this beautiful set from Kelly Bangs. It is linked below. Otherwise, I hope you all have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.